you know, you look like a do for Lauren Hill. Like, you look just like her. Like, for real, though. You know, you look like a drugstore version of Erica Badu. Why are you trying to look like her? Look like yourself. You look like Janelle Monae, a poor version of Janelle Monae. Yeah, that's it. The same energy. You got the same big eyes and the hair just like her. This is very stylish in a vegan kind of world. I'm so proud of my curls. Very stylish. I hope you can vibe with me. Hey y'all, what's up everybody, what's up? So yesterday's video did not act right. So I'm recording this again because I think the video was too good for me not to pass up. So yeah, let's get started. Today's video is all about finding those green beauty dupes. So as you know, I've been transitioning into green beauty for the past six months or so, or maybe a little bit longer than that. And um, I've been really on a mission to find dupes for conventional lipsticks, foundations, highlighters, everything that I had that I've kind of thrown away and gotten rid of. Um, and I want to find it in so, Green Beauty. Also, too, I know a lot of you out there, some of you out there, well, I don't know, raise your hand if you do, but I know that my vlogger friends and my regular girlfriends were always looking for that perfect red or that perfect vampy lip or that perfect bright color or that perfect uh, glow, right? So um, I have so many of those things. I just want to see... If I'm gonna buy another one, like not to buy the same one again because it's a dupe. And if I have a dupe, I'm not gonna waste my money on things that might be more expensive or more toxic or more harmful for my now, body. Now mind so. you, green beauty tends to be a little bit more expensive than conventional beauty. So um, I know that I talk to, even though e.l.f. isn't the cleanest, it's cleaner than most because it's paraben free, it's vegan and cruelty free. Um, and so I usually hover around e.l.f. and I hover around wet and wild for my drugstore um, makeup. But I have been really, really focusing on supporting Black-owned brands, Black woman-owned brands, green, vegan, and cruelty-free. So it's been a process for me, but I've thrown away a lot of my old lippies. Uh, Y'all, it's, it's a lot. So the fact that I'm doing this right here, that I have enough green beauty products to do this video is a big deal. So I found some really awesome lippy dupes. Today, I'm only going to focus on how they feel on the lips, the coloring, and, you know, if it's hard to get off your lips. In my next upcoming series of videos, right, because I'm going to be doing a series of these lippies, um, I'm going to compare and contrast how well they wear throughout the day. But until I get to that video, let's do some swatches, let's compare formulas, and let's see how they look on the lips. Are you ready? I'm ready. I know you're watching already, but did you subscribe yet? Did you hit that bell to let you know when I have a new video out? Come on, let's go. Like, I don't even know why you're watching and you did not subscribe yet. Let's go. I'm trying to get to 500 by my birthday, which is May 20th. So can we do it? I think we can do it. All right, So let's the first go. dupe I have is Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. And the second dupe I have, or to, com to compare with it, is Issa by Black Minerals. Black Minerals put out matte lip vibes um, earlier this year, beginning of this year. And Liquid Katsu's been around for about a year and a half or so. And uh, I have this in Missy and Fierce, and I have this in Issa. And I gotta say, you gotta let me know, but I'm pretty sure that they're comparable in formulas and color. Um, so I'm gonna swatch them, talk about them, and then you be the judge. All right, so here are the two. This is Missy and Fierce, and this is Issa. Now, let's talk about it, right? So the color is comparable. I would say that the Wet n Wild is more blue, and this is a lot more red, and it kind of glows a little bit more. This is the Issa. All right, so they're definitely dupes. Let me tell you why they're dupes, because um, the formula is very similar. It feels the same on the lips. It feels like thick. Like, it feels like I have lipstick on my lips. Um, and the Liquid Cat Suit smells like... Mm glue a little, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, and it smells very similar. These smell kind of similar. Um, so they feel similar, they look similar on the arm, right? And um, they also wear very, very long. I've, I've tried both of these and I've worn them throughout the day and they, they wear very long. I haven't compared them though, but that, that will be the next one. All right, so what y'all think? Dupe, dupe, on to the next. All right, so next up we have 
Tika in my Black Minerals Matte, Lip, Matte Vibes Liquid Lipstick. And this is Colored Rain in whatever. Um, Colored Rain, of course, is vegan, cruelty-free, and paraben-free, and gluten-free. And Black um, uh, Minerals is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, toxic-free, you know, non-toxic. So I looked at these and I was like, mm, this looks more red, mm, and this looks a little bit more brown. So I was like, let me just try it and see. So you can tell me what you think. Let's go. All right, so let's compare. Definitely the Colored Rain has a stronger pigment, first of all, because this is one coat of Colored Rain and this is two coats. I'll put on another coat um, of just so you can see the color um, similarity. Um, this is two coats of the Matte Vibes Liquid Lipstick from Black Minerals. Um, again, this smells, uh, the Color Rain smells stronger, right? And this has more of like a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's kind of like flicks in it where it looks like it's like a little bit glittery. So I don't know if you've experienced that with yours, but I feel like the red was like that too. Um, but this is comparable in color, but the feel is different. This feels much lighter than this one, even though they both feel light. This feels much lighter. This formula for the brown feels lighter than the red, and it also feels lighter than the Colored Rain. So, but I still think it's a dupe. I still think it's a very similar color. I think this is probably a little, a little slightly lighter, lighter, but not much. I just think because of it's not as pigmented, so. All right, let's so back. I have my liquid cat suit in nice diffusion. I think I bought all the liquid cat suits, y'all. And then I also have my Cloven Halo in Napa. Um, I've seen uh, Malika, naturally Malika. Uh, she looks really great in it. It looks nice and bright on her. I love this color. I've worn it and it wears really well. Again, I love this color too. It wears really well. So let's see, shall we? All right, so y'all, I, I tried this before with Berry Recognize, and I was like, okay, yeah, that's a close color. But I do think that the Nice to Fuchsia from the Liquid Cat Suit is a, a, a closer match than Berry Recognize. Even though Berry Recognize is a good dupe from the Liquid Cat Suit, I do think Nice to Fuchsia is comparable to the Napa. Um, this feels much lighter. Um, also, Napa on um, Cloven Hollow feels much lighter and it doesn't smell as strong as the liquid cat suit um and also it stays on at least for six hours the napa this stays on forever right and i didn't talk about price points but i'll make sure that when i introduce each lipstick you'll see the price point on it but yeah y'all and if you can see this is um napa and this is nice to fuchsia this is you know they kind of rubbed off you know it doesn't look as nice on insta you know like at the instagram ones but um uh liquid cat suit missy and fierce isa whatever, Tika, um, Napa, um, and uh, Nice Diffusia. So now yeah. it's the battle of the glosses. Um, I have Mauve Over from my Minted Cosmetics, and I have my Blame Game from Trust Fund Beauty. I got this in my Ipsy bag, and I purchased this with the other three other glosses, because you know I love Minted. Like, if you know my Instagram, you know I'm... <clears throat> I don't know something in my voice. Uh, but you know I love me some Minted Cosmetics. I got the eyeshadow, I got the lippies, and the lip glosses, so I know the formula. However, I saw these and I was like, oh, they look similar. Um, so just so you'll know the colors. This was about, I'll put another price point here. And this, I don't know how much this runs because I got it in my Ipsy bag um, a while ago. So anyway, I'm going to compare and contrast the colors, how they feel on the lips, what's glossier, things like that. All right, so this one, the Blame Game seemed a little bit harder to like get more pigment out of. I felt like I had to do three or four times on the Blame Game and maybe twice on the Mauve Over. Um, but I do think that they're comparable in color. I think this is a smoother feeling lip. And let me see what smells different. This smells nice and pleasant. This smells kind of like glue. <laughs> um, uh, so if you just had to go on smell alone. And uh, I'll put the price points here. And so you'll know, but um, you know, I, I like Minted Cosmetics better in general, but I think both of them look really nice on the lips and you probably could wear this together and nobody could tell the difference. So there's that. I got one more for you before we get So not a green beauty dupe, but this one I think is the best so far. I got the Alyssa Ashley Elf lip gloss in Nude Rose and I got the Ellery Ultra Glossy Lip with ColourPop and Netta. Y'all, okay, I think that Ellery and Alyssa Ashley were like, Hey, boo, I'm going to drop my color. You're going to drop your color, and we're going to be twinsies. Because when you see the coloring and the feel on both of these lip glosses, you're going to be like, bitch, what? Like, 
Bitch, what? Check it out. Y'all. Y'all. It's the same color. Okay? Um, both of them start at uh, retail at $6. And I will say there's a difference in how it feels. The Alyssa Ashley is just more comfortable on the lips. And gotta, gotta be honest with you, this just smells better. The Alyssa Ashley smells like vanilla and like cake and everything. And the Netta, the, the Netta smells a little waxy. I love both of them. And um, if you want a glossier finish, go with the Alyssa Ashley. If you want a drier finish, go with the Netta. But as you can see, Netta's a little bit more orange, but not much. So, like, decide if you want to go to the Elf store and get it online, get it. If you want to go online to ColourPop or to Ulta and get your lip gloss from um, ColourPop, do that. But it's the same color. Like, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to support, you know, these black bloggers and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, it's the same color. Like, I'm just, I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. If you like this video, let me know what you think in the comments. And do you have a favorite booty, beauty do? Not a booty do, but a beauty do? Let me know in the comments. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Uh